Alright, first video of the day, so let's check out Shiba Inu. So, I haven't done a video on Shiba before, but I've noticed something interesting on this chart so that I want to point out to you guys. So, uh, if we zoom in, you can basically see this red line that I've got here, and we've had a relatively strong rejection from this red line and this descending uh, red trend line as well. Uh, if we zoom out, you can obviously see that this is just a basic trend line, doesn't really have too many touch points, but nevertheless still valid and this horizontal red line here correlates to the previous all-time high we had in the 10th of may 21 so it's not the all-time high obviously this is the all-time up here but this is the first all-time high we have on the polynex chart uh, i also had a chart open for this on binance but this goes back a few more months not that we're going to be looking at that data anyway so what to look for now uh, there is kind of like a trade that i see coming up for this but it does depend if we are able to get above this line here so i'm not going to be touching this coin in the meantime if i did have a long on this coin i would need to see us come up but probably at least to rally these previous uh highs here at uh basically three five so if we are able to break above this trend line and this trend line then i do see us coming back up to the next level which is four four two nine uh, so like I said, I'm not going to be trading this until we get above this trend line So let's just take the measurement tool after it breaks out and you can see that's a 32% move uh, That would also correlate to the uh, previous high that we had here So this is a huge level and this was obviously resistance here and finally flip support here So this is a big level if we are able to get above here Then obviously we have a big trade coming in and from where we are now That's a 50% increase, but like I said uh, as of now, I'm not trading this coin. I, I don't actually own any of this coin at all, but I wouldn't be opposed to longing or shorting it if the market tells me what we're doing. So uh, coming down as well, this is obviously our bullish. Um, this would be our bullish scenario. So let me mark this in green. Now also, uh, you can also see if we are just zooming out that we are downtrending very much. And you could argue that this is obviously a strong rejection off both of these lines here. So we could be about to fall off the table. The, there is basically no volume coming in for this coin whatsoever. This coin has lost all retail interest since October. So it's basically been going sideways and down in volume. No one's really buying this, which kind of tells me that we probably won't be coming up here to make this trade simply because there's, there's no volume coming in. And even though there's no volume coming in, RSI is basically turn, uh, turn up, it double topped at 70. So in my opinion, it, it will roll over, but I'm obviously not going to be shorting or longing this until I get more confirmation on the market. So uh, if we draw out the 200 day moving average as well uh, to here, you can see that if we lost this level, which is approximately about a 9% drop from where we are now, then there's really nowhere else to go apart from down to this red box. And this red box correlates to uh, these few wick highs that we had on here, uh, the low that we put in the other day, and also all of these touch points on this candle here. So this is a, a very big range, obviously. It's um, about a 20% range, but nonetheless, there's so many candles and so much data in here that I do think it is uh, very valid to keep an eye on. So if we do lose this 200 day moving average, then I do suspect that we are going to come all the way down to backtest these lows, at which point I would be very happy to put in a short if we bounced off the 200 day and head down. And our price target from that, from where we, where we, where we would be opening a trade would be a 35% decrease from where we are now, uh, not from where we are now, from, from the trade. So from where we are now, it's approximately a 41% drop. So uh, in my opinion, it is more likely that we come down uh, simply because the RSI looks a bit too overextended. There's no volume stepping in whatsoever. And it just doesn't really seem like the time to be buying uh, buying dog coins. So yeah, uh, that's really all I'm seeing for Shiba Inu right now. Once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.